you're going to place the band two to three inches above your knees. You're going to have to play around with the placement of your bench and that's totally okay. You're going to put your arms straight out in front of you next to your thighs and where your fingertips hit is where you're going to place the heels of your feet. And then you want to make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart. You're going to point your toes outward at a 45 degree angle. You want to make sure that you press your knees out against the band the entire time. The bottom of your shoulder blade should be rested on the bench or the riser. If you notice that it's too far up or down, then adjust your bench. And the Smith Machine bar should be placed directly below your hip bones. You should use a barbell pad or a yoga mat on your hip bones so that it's pain free. I do not have one here, but I definitely recommend using one. You're gonna lower your hips down to the ground and then you're gonna squeeze your glutes as hard as you can to bring you to the top of the hip thrust. You're gonna hold the top position for three to five seconds. You can also place one hand to support your head if you notice that your neck strains. So you wanna bring your hips down as you lower the weight as low as you can without your upper body positioning moving on the bench. The bench height should be roughly knee height or two to three inches below your knees. You're gonna inhale through your nose as you lower the weight down and exhale through your mouth as you squeeze your glutes up to the top. 